Welcome to Game Time Live at the NBA Finals presented by YouTube TV. I'm your host, Chris Miles. Some breaking news from the Miami Heat. All-star Bam Adebayo and the playoff leading scorer for Miami, Goran Dragic, both out of Game 3. They both missed Game 2 as well. A developing situation in Orlando. The Milwaukee Bucks did not come out for warm-ups before tonight's tip-off that was supposed to be just moments from now. There are Orlando Magic players heading back into the locker room. He's taking the MVP award home. Wait, wait, I can't let you just do that. You said we all make arguments. Who do you think's the best player in the league right now? When you see the staggered schedule and also the play-in tournament in May between the seven and ten seeds between the Eastern and Western Conference, what came to you guys making that decision to change the schedule in that way? Rising Stars game, slam dunk contest, three-point contest, and of course, the actual All-Star game. What's your favorite part of the festivities? Fellas, it's been a great final so far, but Chuck, now that you hear that Bam and Gorn both out, do you think that the Lakers sweep this series? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, a little history lesson for Draymond. Okay, Chuck was an MVP, 11-time All-Star. I get Draymond was born in 1993, so he was a toddler when Chuck was at his peak. Does he need to go do a little research and the understand what he's talking about? The only part of that statement. Come on. The only part of that statement, he steals from Shaq. We said you can't sit at this table with no rings. We heard you were actually just watching that Andrew Wiggins dunk. So before we talk about oh, you, man. tell us what you thought about Andrew <laughs> getting up and putting one down. That was ridiculous, man. When you say there are guys considering leaving the bubble, is there a, a number of players, I know you can't say their names right now, that have reached out to you and said that? Because um, that's pretty significant as far as the resumption of play and trying to get the postseason and completed and crowning a champion. Yeah, no, it, it, it's not the majority of players. That's what we know right now. Some form of action, something we'll pay attention to. Rebecca Harlow, thank you once again. You're doing an excellent job tonight. We appreciate you. Sam, one of the things that uh, she said, guys, considering leaving the bubble. Now, as a head coach, if you were faced with this situation, what would your message be to your players right now? Do what your heart tells you to do. Anthony Davis with four blocks, 22 points, nine rebounds, and defending Jimmy Butler. How impressive was A.D.? Well, listen, uh, Black Ernie Johnson, I just want to tell you, you've done a fantastic job <laughs> the last couple nights. I, I've enjoyed working with you. How do you feel as far as your confidence in being back to exactly where you were before the Achilles and before the knee surgeries? Uh, the, the funny thing is I'm going to be better. Whether it's a white head coach, Mike Malone or Quinn Snyder, or a black head coach, Doc Rivers, the message has been unified in that Breonna Taylor, Jacob Blake, uh, these are names that we need to remember, and these are situations that matter to the players involved in this league. What does it mean for you as a former player to see such a unified front across the board? Well, I, I tip my hat off to all the players. Chris Stapps Porzingis is such a huge part of spreading the floor and setting that high pick and being a threat from three-point range. He was scoring 23 a game, shooting over 50% from the field, 50% from three, but he is not playing in game five. He didn't play in game four. So how did the strategies switch Q Rich without Chris Stapps in the lineup, and how will they change again? So, Steph, this is the ninth anniversary of your first game, your rookie season. You only took one three-pointer against the, the Houston <laughs> Rockets. Do you remember that, the struggle of just getting the opportunity to do what you are doing now? Oh, sure. Um, oh, look at that. We welcome in another Hall of Famer, Reggie Miller. Um, Reggie, we know that you've spent time with, with David Stern during your time in the league. Tell us about your relationship with him. Uh, we know that everyone has said he had a, an iron fist and was always the smartest man in the room. Uh, that is true, and I think uh, I'm a true fan of the game. Certainly, Reggie. Um, as Kevin McHale said earlier, when David Stern first told him about his vision, he thought he was insane. But we know there's a thin line between insanity and genius. And as of today, we know that David Stern was a true genius. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Reggie Miller. It's going to be a big moment for the league going forward, that 8 p.m. meeting with the NBA players. Um, as we continue to move forward and and see what's happening with this developing story. Let's take a look at John Wall. He said, just in case you forgot, 
bigger than basketball, we will no longer shut up and dribble. Yes, when we look at the process of what needs to take place for the game to officially be canceled, uh, the players say they're going to boycott, but we have to hear word from the NBA deputy commissioner to the official word of the game to be canceled or postponed. But Jim, I want to go back to something that I think is a bit personal. Uh, when we have this discussion, you and I, when I first met you, it was on the premise of your son, Trayvon. And when Trayvon Martin uh, passed away, was murdered essentially, um, I thought of your son. And I think that is part of this, this entire story of making it this personal connection because whenever I hear that name, I do look to see what your son is doing now because of our relationship and how we originally met uh, in 2008. And I think that that's, that's part of this entire discussion is that we are able to see your son grow. We are able to listen to you as a father. Can you, ex can you speak to what that experience was like um, when Trayvon Martin passed, mm -hmm. having the same name as your son? It's difficult because you have to have a conversation with your son in regards to the do's and don'ts of life. All right, you take it out real quick. I'm, I'm going to take, take it ready out. for your moment. Where am I going? I'm, I'm defense. All right, oh, ready? Okay. <laughs> ready? Ready, Chris? All right. <laughs> you double team. Oh, 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 What's your good pass? I'm closing it out. Close it out.